it was a duty, a call to answer uh, unprecedented negotiations here, and I wanted to be a part of that. I just felt uh, an urge to try to help, to support um, this effort. I just thought it was, it was an opportunity to try to raise awareness and communicate with other writers and, and again, just cre help create the community of writers because this is for all of us this time. The residuals that I was getting from King of the Hill in a given year, if I wasn't lucky enough to be working on staff, would make the difference to me between keeping my house and being able to keep writing, even if just writing on spec, and having to think about getting a job just to save my house. And so I, I, I could not turn my back on the union that gave me those benefits. No one else is going to do this. This is my career. It's my contract. I've been in the Guild for 12 years. If I want to be in it another 12, this is when I'm going to define what those 12 years are going to be. It's, it's worth my time and energy, and it's worth everyone's time and energy to make sure that these negotiations uh, lead to something that will help certainly writers and the whole industry in the future. The leadership that we have in place, uh, the negotiating team uh, and the staff, and the feeling of, of power, empowerment uh, uh, in the membership is unprecedented. This is the first negotiation where I've seen everyone completely united, which is uh, really gratifying. I really believe that screenwriters and TV writers are looking at the same issues in this particular negotiation this year. There, there is really a sense of community now that I, I'm not sure was there, certainly not in the time I've been a member. If you look back at, at the writers who started all of this, who started the Writers Guild, they gave up everything so that we could have what we have now. And if we back down now, we're going to lose all that, and the writers who come after us are going to lose all that as well. I owe the benefits that I get as a Guild member to generations before me who are willing to to go to the picket line for something they believed in. And those, those were things they had to fight for. And now here we're facing some very important issues that writers' future will look back and think they did that for us. The, you know, the issues around this particular um, negotiating uh, period are, are really important. And so uh, this is an important time to stand up for what's right. I firmly believe that now is the time for, for the writers of, of the Writers Guild to, to, to stand united because we don't realize the power we have. This is a phenomenal union. It's worth fighting for. Your craft is worth fighting for and your craft is, your craft is worth fighting for. You're worth fighting for and the work you do is worth protecting. And so I, I am the Guild. <laughs> All, you know, the people that I work with are, are the Guild and we have to stand up for what that job is. And I think that w this, people will look back at, at this point and say this was a turning point for the better and it's going to change, it's going to change our position in the industry and we're, we're going to achieve really good things.